To me now, I think the best advice we can give him is prepare for a smooth transition so that we ensure stability and long-term peace for the long future. Well, in this story, I'm going to tell you the latest update from General Eli Tumine's camp. I'm also going to tell you why some Ugandans, especially on social media, want General Eli Tumine dead. Well, it's a brand new week again, and uh, may you continue to listen to the stories right here on The Buzz UG. But most importantly, subscribe if you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. Now, the death rumors of General Eli Tumine are still making rounds on social media since yesterday. However, I told you that President Museveni's government hasn't confirmed this news in saturation. Now, the latest update I have right now on the Buzz UG is that General Eli Tumine is still alive but in a critical condition. So basically, we still have to pray for this big man so that he recovers soon. Actually, a lady identified as Angunda Barbara on Twitter said General Eli Tumine is still alive though not well. Kindly disregard the false news making rounds on social media. Uh, we are yet to know if this lady is part of Jeno Eli Tumine's family or is just a friend, but that's the communication she put up on her social media platforms. And also, the spokesperson of UPDF, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, has said that we should disregard the false news making rounds on social media. Uh, Felix Kulaije says the man is fairly good and he's still receiving treatment in the hospital. Now, reports also indicate that Jeno Eli Tumine is suffering from cancer. Yes, some reports on social media have suggested that Jeno Eli Tumwine is suffering from cancer, but President Museveni's critics are saying that Jeno Eli Tumwine was poisoned. But of course, this is something that we cannot confirm. Uh, for now, we shall go by what government is officially communicating to the public. Now, if you have been on social media these two days, you must have seen some Ugandans in a celebratory mode after hearing the death rumors of Jeno Eli Tumwine. And I know you're asking yourself why some Ugandans want Jeno Eli Tumine dead. I mean, why are they wishing someone death? This is inhuman. But sit back and relax because I'm going to tell you why they are celebrating this big man's death even before he's confirmed dead by government. Now, in a government presser at the Uganda Media Center in 2020 after the November killings in Kampala, Jeno Eli Tumine at the time was still the Minister of Security and he said... Police has a right to shoot you and kill you if you reach a certain level of violence. Can I repeat? Police has a right or any security agency. If you reach a certain level, they have a right to kill you. Police has a right to shoot you and kill you if you reach a certain level of violence. Can I repeat? Police has a right or any security agency. If you reach a certain level, they have a right to I think this is the most unfortunate statement he said that left many Ugandans very angry and that is why you're seeing on social media a very big section of Ugandans kind of celebrating this big man's death rumors. Now, other people on social media have started putting up poison stories. You know, they are saying that Jeno Eli Tumine was poisoned. And according to them, the reason why he was poisoned is that at some point he started advising President Museveni to prepare for a peaceful transition of power, something President Museveni doesn't want to hear about. I think he knows that I am not after these positions that people clamor for, and perhaps that's why he would rather take care of his political interests of balancing here and there. And I remain a freedom fighter and I admire him and thank him as my teacher, my mentor, my leader, and my hero. I will continue, I will continue to give him my genuine support and, support and, uh, and, and advice. And to me now, I think the best advice we can give him is prepare for a smooth transition so that we ensure stability and long-term peace for the long future. You know, 
it should be our duty to save him from being in Gambanyenka. When you have a proverb in Gambanyenka, you come out of Mavi. That the one who does not take advice brews some bad beer. But we should save the president that problem. Or we should save him. There is a disease diagnosed by political scientists and psychologists that is called uh, Hubris Syndrome. It's our duty to help him not to have that problem because it is the advice that we give him that will help him to do his work with everybody else and better than uh, he would otherwise have done if he was alone. He has given this country his best and he deserves an honorable retirement. So some people have based on that statement as reason enough to justify their statement that Zeno Eli Tumwine was poisoned. But remember, all these are social media talks that we cannot confirm right now. But I think most importantly, for now, we should just pray for this big man to improve so that he gets back on his feet ASAP. Well, that's the latest update from Geno Eli to Winners Cup. And uh, right here on the Buzz UG, we continue to wish him a very quick recovery. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and uh, this is the Buzz UG. Subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now.